Danny, your thoughts on the performance? Uh, got better as it went on. Uh, you know, I thought we started quite brightly. A bit disappointing, like at, at their place, we didn't put it to bed a lot earlier. You know, and then they obviously get that goal. You think, oh, well, no, but I think the difference is now as the team's developing and progressing and learning uh, and get better. Let's get it right from the start of the season. We've got to make sure we don't have main net maiden heads at home where we allow them to take a lead and then we just can't break them down. And everyone gets frustrated and it's a really bad day at the office. I think there's a real belief now, even when we don't want to, by the way, when you do go a goal down home or away, that we can come back with style. Uh, even at 2-1, there were some nervy moments because, yes, they're bottom, but they had a go. The players had a right go. They've got the lad Lavery up front, who's a handful. The fans know here quite well. And I just think the importance today, the subs really showed the squad, you know, with uh, Jez, Tim and, and Cabs to not just get us over the line, but get us over the line extremely comfortably. Just uh, seemed to like an open game, you know, and, and that's certainly what it was today, wasn't it? It was, yeah, it was, and uh, it becomes less open if you if you put away your chances a bit earlier. Saying that, you know, some of the some of the play to create those chances was really really nice to watch. Same second half, and and when when you score at the end of it, it's you know everyone's on their feet clapping. What a great goal! Uh, and I think we saw that. Yes, their their guy had a mistake for, for Cabs as one, but the class of the finish was, was excellent. Kingies was I'm sure he asked about that. That was that, you know that was a, another level. And Quasi's and Dobbs's goals were really good in their own right. Uh, and it's great we're all pitching in all over the pitch. Quigg's got two last week, and then he come off and you know his replacement Cabs gets one today. And that's that's what it's all about. Teamwork, everyone pitching in, and uh, you know we're, we're near the top, they're bottom of the league. There was no sympathy from us. I think we played a bit longer, it might have been five or six, but yeah, it's nice to get the three points in a comfortable manner in the end. Weirdly, do you think it took? A goal from Scunthorpe to wake the side up a little bit more, but being, rather than being a bit more clinical. I'd say. Uh, no, I think it, 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 what it does sometimes it can spread a bit of nerves through the stadium. I think credit to the supporters because they didn't get on the players' backs. It's easy when you go one 0 down against a team you're expected to to beat comfortably uh, to turn and get agitated, and they didn't. Yes, it helps you you get two goals in before the break because if we one 0 down with ten minutes to go, we're all agitated, you know, because it is like a main net at home. Uh, but the development and the sort of constant sort of involvement of this team, I think, has shown that when we go a goal down, we can bounce back and bounce back really well. Uh, whoever you're playing, and wherever they are in the league, and you come in after and, and see that that knots have not slipped up but got a point, and you work out our games and if we win, it's exciting for everyone to have a look at. But if we don't play well, if we don't turn up, if we don't defend well, and don't put teams to the sword, it's no point worrying about anyone else. I mean, obviously the game could have been put to bed with a couple of chances at the start of the second half as yeah. well. He had to wait till the 83rd minute. Another Jeff King free kick. Yeah. I mean, how much on the training ground is he practising those? He does. He just gets a bag of balls in the practices and uh, he deserves everything he gets in his career. He's a great kid. Uh, you know, and he's got so much to improve on, so much to, to, to get better at because he's, you know, he's youngish in football terms, you know, and uh, the contribution he's brought is that eight goals maybe. I might be off for that eight goals. And you know the assist, so you forgive him the odd one. He has a free kick and balloons it over the stand because he's got it in his locker just to put one in the top corner like that. And that happens on the Premier League match a day. We playing it over and over again. So uh, yeah, no, it's, it's great for him because he works his socks off, contributes so much to this team. But to a man, I think you know, including the subs, uh, I think I think they really they really turned it on. Second half really showed some style and sort of really put some put finishing touches on the great moves that we were developing in the first half. But we didn't quite have to finish. Did you have to have a word about his discipline at all? It's another yellow card. He's not far away from a, a two-match ban, though. Ah, listen, everyone, everyone's got things they, they want to improve on in their lives and their career. And, you know, Kingy obviously has got a, a lot of yellow cards and he's not a nasty lad and they're not nasty tackles. And, uh, yeah, I think we'll forgive him that yellow card, let him enjoy. I won't bring that up. I'll let him enjoy the night. <laughs> they kept Shemanga on the score sheet as well. He's eighth of the season as well. Now, obviously, the last transfer window had a little bit of hubbub, didn't it, with yeah. the, the, the proposed move. Um are you hoping that he doesn't have that this month and he can just knuckle down? I think you've got to expect whatever happens. You know, let's get it right. He was absolutely on fire last year before the injury. Uh, if you look at his stats this year, they're, they're frightening, really. Uh, so it's, it's like it's like Kingy, it's like lads, it's like even lads who are not scoring. We've got a good team. Wrexham and Notts County, you know, they love scouts watching all their players every week. That's what happens when you're up the top. Sadly, when you're down the bottom, no one watches you. So it's a credit to our club and our, our team and management and, and everything and supporters that we've, we've got a team at the moment that everyone's proud of and is attracting loads of interest. And listen, none of us have got a 
sort of psychic powers to see what's going to happen. But all I can see, like you can see now, when cabs or anyone comes on that pitch, whatever the speculation is, they're giving it their all. You know, I'm going to be consistently asking you all month, though. Yeah, that, that's a, that's yeah, a thing, yeah, though, isn't it? Of course it, it is. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, of course it is. And uh, listen, if you've got someone with cabs' goal record, it's going to be speculation, you know, just like it's going to be speculation for all our players. So, yeah, the goal scorers get the attention, and rightly so. And whatever it will be, will be. But at the moment, uh, to a man, everyone's pushing the right direction. Let's quickly move on to sort of West Brom next week. Obviously, it's uh, FA Cup again, back round again for the for the, the, the spy rights. Um, I mean, now we can talk about it. It's going to be close to a sellout as well. I think Brilliant. it might even be a sellout during the week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fantastic. And this is a bit, a bit similar to last year. We went to Chelsea, we're up near the top, and uh, fans could really go and enjoy their day. It's different this year, I think, because I think, you know, that sounds a little bit negative as a coach, but I think we've got a realistic chance of beating them. OK, they're still massive favourites. We're at home. Much different to as much as we took so many fans to Chelsea. We're at home. We'll have a lot more here than we took to Chelsea, you know, and we'll hopefully have over 9,000 maybe. So that'd be fantastic for the club. Like I said before, Northampton and Wimbledon, it's a different type of pressure. It's now saying to the players, go on, play against some ex-Premier League players, what you like. Can you cope? Can you, can you outrun them? Can you outstrength them? Can you outskill them? Can you outpass them? Can you outfight them? All those questions we'll be asking the players all week and it's over to them. But yeah, you know, the Wildstone and the game after is much more important for, for us as staff and as a football club because we want to get to that, that promised land. Uh, but we've got to keep turning it on like we did second half today to have any hopes of getting out of this division.